Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to find the vertical stress increase below a uniformly loaded circular area at any depth and at any radial distance. I have been given a question which says that figure below shows a circular area of radius 5 meters subjected to a uniformly distributed load a Q equal to 400 kilopascal. We have to determine the vertical stress increase 4 meter below the loaded area at a radial distance of 0, 1, 3, 5 and 7 meter. Okay. You can see this is our uh, a circular loaded area. Okay. And uh, we have to find the vertical stress increase at this point A. Okay. When the uh, uh, when it is at a depth of 4 meter and we have a varying radial distances. Okay. First uh, vertical stress uh, increase at point A located at a depth Z at any distance r from the center of the loaded area this is given by the formula as uh, delta sigma z this is equal to q uh, into a dash plus b dash okay we have this a prime and b prime these are the functions of z by r and r by r okay z is the depth okay capital r this is the radius of the circular area okay and this small r this is the radial distance of the point from the center of this loaded circular area okay these uh, functions a dash and b dash okay uh, these we have to uh, calculate from the alvin's table okay which i will show you in the next slide so radius of our circular area this is five meter depth this is four meter okay so for the first radial distance that is r is equal to zero meter z by r this will be four by five equal to 0 0.8 and r by r this will be zero next we have to find the value for this a dash uh, from this alvin's table okay so for our uh, z by r this equal to 0 0.8 and uh, this uh, r by r this equal to 0 we can see the value of uh, a prime this is 0 0.37531 okay this is the value of a prime Similarly, for uh, z by r equal to 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 0, we can see the value of b prime. This is equal to 0 0.38091. Okay. Uh, so, stress increase, this is given as q multiplied by a prime plus b prime. So, it will be 400 multiplied by 0 0.37531 plus 0 0.38091 which is equal to 302.5 kilo pascal this is the stress increase at a depth of 4 meter and at a radial distance of 0 meter or exactly below the uh, center of this uh, uniformly loaded circular area at a depth of z is equal to 4 meter next radial distance this is 1 meter similarly so z by r this uh, will remain same 0 0.8 r by r its value will be 0 0.2 again using this table now you have to find for z by r equal to 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 0 0.2 so value of a prime this will be equal to 0 0.36832 okay and for z by r equal to 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 0 0.2 value of this b prime this will be 0 0.37408 okay stress increase this will be again used as q multiplied by a prime plus b prime which is equal to 400 multiplied by 0 0.36832 plus 0 0.37408 which is equal to 296.96 kilo pascal okay so next is radial distance of uh, 3 meter again z by r this is equal to 0 0.8 and r by r this is equal to 0 0.6 value of a prime for z by r equal to 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 0 0.6 it is 0 0.31243 okay and for z by r equal to 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 0 0.6 value of b prime this is 0 0.30699 so stress increase this will be given as 400 multiplied by 0 0.31243 plus point 30699 which is 247.77 kilo pascal okay we can see that as we are moving from the center of this uh, uniformly loaded circular area as the radial distance is increasing the stress increase is decreasing okay next radial distance this is 5 meter so z by r this will remain constant 0 0.8 r by r this is now equal to 1 so value of a prime 
for z by r equal to 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 1 this is uh, a prime will be equal to 0 0.21297 okay and b prime for z by r equal to 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 1 this will be 0 0.15292 after that uh, stress increase this is again q multiplied by a prime plus b prime which is equal to 400 multiplied by 0 0.21297 plus 0 0.15292 which is equal to 146.36 kilopascal again uh, less than the earlier value okay that is at a radial distance of 3 meter okay next is for radial distance of 7 meters so z by r this is 4 by 5 which is equal to 0 0.8 and r by r this is 7 by 5 which is 1.4 so for uh, 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 value of a prime we can see that uh, a value of uh, z by r this is 0 0.8 but r by r this is for 1 and 1.2 1.5 so we don't have value for 1.4 so we have to interpolate between 1.2 and 1.5 so for z by r equal 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 1.2 value of a prime this is 0 0.16206 and for z by r equal to 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 1.5 value of a prime this will be equal to 0 0.10236 similarly for b prime we have to again interpolate be, uh, between the values of 1.2 and 1.5 to get the value of r by r uh, equal to 1.4 okay so for z by r equal to 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 1.2 value of b prime this is 0 0.07530 and for z by r equal to 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 1.5 value of b prime this is 0 0.00614 next we will interpolate so for z by r equal to 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 1.2 a prime is 0 0.16206 and uh, for r by r equal to 1.5 value of a prime this is 0 0.10236 so from linear interpolation for z by r equal to 1, 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 1.4 value of a prime this will be equal to 0.1226 okay similarly uh, you will interpolate for the value of b prime between 1.2 and 1.5 so for z by r equal to 0 0.8 b prime is uh, 0.07530 and z by r equal to 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 1.5 value of b prime this is 0.00614 again from linear interpolation value of b prime for z by r equal to 0 0.8 and r by r equal to 1.4 value of b prime this will be equal to 0 0.02919 okay so stress increase this will be equal to q multiplied by a prime plus b prime which is 400 multiplied by 0 0.1226 plus 0 0.2919 which is equal to 60.5 58 kilopascal okay so this is how you can calculate the stress below a uniformly loaded circular area at any depth and at any radial distance okay simply you need the help of this alvin chart which you can uh, download easily from the internet okay or you can find this uh, chart in any standard your technical engineering book okay if you have any doubts uh, regarding this problem you can write them in the comment box okay and i will be happy to uh, clarify your doubts okay and if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel share this video and uh, stay tuned